You know, I'm the first generation of my family born in America. My parents immigrated from Poland, uh, I think roughly 1920. Uh, my father was a plumber's apprentice, and uh, I grew up in the South Bronx. I think Toby's mother was born in America, so she's second generation born in America. But we both were born in modest circumstances in the uh, Bronx, New York. A long time ago, I discovered or figured out there's only four things you can do with money. Uh, the first thing you can do is consume it on yourself. The second thing you can do is basically give it to your children, but I believe in giving my kids a rational sum of money and not spoiling their incentive to become self-achieved. Third you can do is give it to the government in the form of taxation, and fourth is you can recycle it back into society and help others less fortunate from you than yourself. And it's been our view to take the fourth alternative with the bulk of our resources. We both believe uh, if we don't do it, who will? And so um, supporting activities and projects in the Jewish community has always been very important. We look at what the needs of the community are. Uh, we really feel our seniors should grow old in dignity uh, and with proper surroundings. And I thought it was a beautiful facility that uh, we would be honored to have our name associated with. And I, I love the fact that it's located on the campus so that there are young children, middle-aged children, seniors all in one very close, well-knit community. The Giving Pledge has, is, is meritorious in terms of its concept, but it's not original. You know, in 1900, Andrew Carnegie said, he who dies rich dies disgraced. In 1930, Winston Churchill said, you make a living by what you get, you make a life by what you give. When President Kennedy was inaugurated president in 1961, he said, ask not what your country could do for you, ask what you could do for your country. And I think in the Talmud, well before all these men made their observations, is, is you measure a man not by what he has, but what he gives. And so we've made a determination not, not to die wealthy. My empowerment is I've been lucky and I've made a good living over the years but my business would atrophy if I didn't pay attention to my business. So I have to find the right jockeys to basically take the funds that I've made and do good things with it. Federation is a bunch of professional people that know what they're doing, and I have the confidence in them to take these resources and spend them intelligently. Believe me, I've worked for 50 odd years, 70 hour work week, so I don't want to waste my money. So we're very hands-on, picking the people that run our programs, and I don't think you can find a better collection of people than you can find at the Federation that are dedicated to doing their job. But when you say a how moment, there's a lot of things we're involved in, and it's just very gratifying to see what good things your money can do.